Hey folks, Lester here. I am hanging out with our friend Carl. He's here behind me. I'm also hanging out with old Pablo. Today I'm gonna to show you something really sweet, romantic, and uh, at least from a guy's perspective. And a lot of y'all are going to be curious about how we allow Carl to decide which pasture he wants to be in as far as with the ladies or here with the littles behind me. And ultimately, we leave that up to Carl. Today, I'm gonna to go inside and show you exactly how, how this process works. And you, uh, you, y'all you, come along with us, okay? Y'all just stick around and you'll enjoy this. I think you'll enjoy this. This might be why women, seriously, sorry to say this, but this might be why women choose to date and have relationships with other women. Can I say that? Can I say that and not get banned? But the rea the interaction that Carl has with the ladies might be exactly why some girls choose to date other girls. There, I'm just gonna say it. So I'll be honest and let y'all know that we've not truly figured out the best system yet. We're still working on the best system for how this is going to work. Ugh. Okay, that's closed. What I think would work best. Oh, sorry, Pablo, you're on the wrong side. What I think would work best is if, move, do not pin me in the corner. Do not, hold on folks, back up. What I think would work best, Ringo, stop, move. Oh, Ringo, move, ouch, move, sir. What I think would work best, hold on. I'm looking out for Carl, stop it, I'm, tr I'm not even messing with you. Ugh. Oh boy. Ringo, stop it. Stop it. Move. No. No. Ah. Okay. Move. Ah. Hold on, folks. Y'all give me a second or so here. I'm going to have to try to... I don't want to be back into the corner again. All right. Oh, shit. Fuck. Mother. Stop it! Stop. Ah, yeah. Not you too! Cornholio, move! That hurts, Daddy! Move! Move! Ah. Stop it! Stop it! Stop. Where are you going? What are you doing? Get out of here! <clears throat> okay, hold on, folks. Let me just get down a little. Hey, we're just gonna love a little bit, okay? Ugh. Come here. Actually, I'm pulling him to me. I just figured out some reverse psychology. Now I'm actually trying to pull Ringo to me. Look at this. I am pulling him to me, and he's choosing to hold himself away. See, other, I was letting him... I'm trying... When I push him away, he wants to pull and push at me. Now I'm pulling him, and he's trying to pull away there. Okay. I am afraid... There might come a time when I end up getting my ribs broke doing stuff like this. But for today, I'm still good. He's not. No, sir. No, sir. All right, I'm going to have to stop videoing for a minute. If I let go, I'm hurt. I'm going to have another injury. I already walk around with a limp in my right leg because of Ringo. So what I'm doing is looking around to make sure. See, corn, cornholio. Ah! Ringo, no! Nah. Stop it! He hooked me. Ugh. Hold on, folks. Hold on. I'm going to stop it. You hooked me, and that hurt, Daddy. And that was my left knee. Ha! <laughs> 
Ah, what's wrong? What's wrong, sucker? <laughs> you ain't scaring me now. I gotta catch my breath, y'all. Hey, listen. <laughs> Can't we be friends, you and me? <sighs> okay. So let's kind of, let me try to start this whole thing over. I have a system in place. I'm trying to develop a system. And the system's not an easy one, y'all. You see, there's a lot of variables that I'm having to work with. And one of those variables is a billy goat who looks for trouble any way he can find it. Another one of those variables, and please don't be mean. Another one of those variables is a, is a turkey who has quite the crush on the ladies. He likes them big girls. And uh, he tries to find a way to, he wants me to allow him into that pasture what he wants. That's exactly what he wants. He wants me to allow him into that pasture. And I just can't see, oh boy, where do you think you're going? You think you figured out how to get in here with me? I bet you have, haven't you? You are a sm smart boy. So let me tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna work smarter, not harder, okay? What I'm about to do is work smarter and not harder. I can tell that the ladies here, they would like a visit from, let me stand up a little bit higher. The ladies here would enjoy a visit from Carl. They've all come to the gate because they really would enjoy a visit from Carl, okay? Y'all see how pretty they look? And they're trying to, oh yeah, look at there. Oh boy. Oh, they have on their pretty dancing dresses. The ladies have put on their dancing dresses and some perfume. You know how you know how girls will put that perfume down their neck and a little bit on their like in their cleavage. That's what they've done. Got on their matching bra and panties. And that right there always tells you something. That right there, if a girl does those things, y'all, then you know for sure. You know for sure it's a go. And so the ladies have on their pretty dresses. They smell nice. And uh, they're all matched up with their undies, their undergarments. So I have to find a way to get off of this place where I'm trapped and get Carl inside there with them. Now, I know what you're probably saying. You're probably saying, Lester, let the ladies in here with Carl. No, it didn't work that way, you see. What I've built in this pasture are really high fences. And so all once Carl goes inside here, they're going to start the dance. Now, the ostrich dance is not like any other dance you've ever seen. Unless you uh unless you watch Animal Planet. And then you may have seen similar dances, but they have this game they play where they run like crazy. They run with the wind. They run with the wind, y'all. Feathers are flying. Oh, they're pretty. And Carl thinks that's the funnest game ever. And uh, in saying so, I have to make sure that they play this game inside the pasture that has the six and a half, seven foot wall around it. Because if I don't, they can sometimes accidentally get so excited and come right over a shorter fence. So we cannot let them in here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is a very methodic method here. I'm gonna take animal crackers and lure all of the pigs and goats into that pasture over there. Then I will close that gate. I will take feed and take these girls over there somewhere on the far side of the pasture and then I'll open the middle gate and let Carl in. And that, my friends, is when all the fun begins. Y'all wanna watch this? Do y'all wanna watch and see this dance? It's pretty neat. It is a pretty neat little dance. Hey, ladies. Y'all smell pretty. <laughs> I think you smell so pretty, ladies. 
Oh, uh, y'all don't like me talking about your practices. Y'all don't like this. I thought y'all would enjoy me telling everybody the ins and outs of ostriches and how the process works. <laughs> I love sweet baby. Sweet baby. All right, y'all give me a couple of minutes here. All right, so for the most part, I've got all of the goats over into the other pasture. Now, unfortunately, some goats can climb back through, like Pebbles there. I'm not too worried about her, though. Uh, if she does climb back through, I can very easily catch her and put her back where she belongs. We're going to walk around now, and I'm going to attempt to open the gate. So here's over, over here is what's going on with Carl. All of the ladies have walked up wanting to make his acquaintance. And so I'm going to walk around and open the gate for him. And so he can come through. It's a little bit of a process that I've gotten down pretty good. Look how he's making himself really attractive for them. And they are starting to do their little pretty dress thing I was telling you about. So right now, I don't want to involve myself a whole lot if I can, if I can help it. So let me work my way around. I'm gonna go the back way here. I don't wanna mess with them. I'm gonna have to just come the back way. If I can just make my way past Cornholio. And I'll come over here and I'll work my magic from the back side. I don't have the best of latching systems on this thing. So now that I open this all the way back up, and I take this stone and put this rock there, now I can walk out of the way a little bit. Now we have to excuse Cornholio. He only wants to hook up with me. Now that I walk around over here, Carl will feel completely safe to go inside there with the ladies. Uh, so Pebbles has made her way through the gate and she's gonna walk right in here beside me, which is fine. I'm not worried about Pebbles. The uh, ladies don't care about Pebbles either. Pebbles is fine. Cornholio is going to try to come over here too. But like I said, he's only interested in me. Annie's going to try to come through. Come on, Annie. That's fine. Not worried about Annie coming through because I can get everyone else out. Look at the pretty dresses. Can y'all see the, how they've put on their pretty dresses? You see the pretty dresses, right? Annie, are you coming through or not? What we need is to get Carl to come through. That's when all the fun begins. Carl, though. Carl is way over there. <gasps> There's Carl. <laughs> Carl is way over there. Carl! Sheesh. These poor ladies, they want to dance so bad. This reminds me, have y'all ever gone? You remember when you were back in middle school? Maybe even high school, you go to a dance, a school dance, and all the girls want to dance. Seriously, all the girls want to dance, but the boys are a little bit too shy. They all stand in the corner trying to flex out and stuff like that. But girls don't really care about how you're dressed. They only want a guy who can dance. You know what? That's going to be a good life lesson. Let me just go ahead and say that again. I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all something that I really do think you should know, especially if you're a young man. There's a lot of things that men think that a girl wants in a man. But would you believe that it's been my experiences? It, seriously, in my lifetime, it's been my experience to know that a girl cares a whole lot more that if a guy can dance good, it doesn't really matter what kind of clothes he wears, how much money he has in his wallet. Girls like a man who can dance. Okay, well, let me, let me rephrase that. A man doesn't even have to dance good. Now, a girl likes when a man can dance good, but a girl just wants a guy who will dance. A girl just wants a guy who will dance with them. Girls are like, just take me dancing and they'll give you the world. Seriously, a woman will give you the world if you'll just take her out dancing. And most guys can't dance worth a darn. Seriously, men, we can't. But a woman just wants to be taken to that dance floor, 
spun around a few times. Put your arms around her, uh, around her waist usually. That's always works out better. And then uh, just just watch the magic happen. Y'all just watch the magic happen. You go to any night dance club, especially like when there's a dance, like a country western dance where you're able to uh, embrace your partner as you dance. And look at the smile on that woman's face. A woman just loves to dance. Look at this girl looking back at Carl. She's like, hello. <laughs> Waiting for tall, dark, and handsome to come dance with me. I know, baby. Carl's a little bit slow. So Carl is still way over there, not real sure. He's on that side of the gym. It's like those middle school kids. Carl is on that, standing along the side of the gym door or the wall of the gym, wondering if he should go near the ladies. Just wondering if he should go near the ladies to dance. <laughs> I am about to play the oldest trick in the book. Now, this is not a man's playbook. This is a woman's playbook. Carl, I'm going to use food to entice Carl. You see, Carl... Even though he was up along the fence acting all tough to the ladies, Carl's actually terrified. Carl is actually terrified to go in that pasture. Come on, Carl. Carl. He does not want to go in there with them ladies for anything. Pebbles, this is not for you, baby. This is a playbook from we're trying to get Carl to go in there with the ladies and visit the ladies. I'm going to have him walk right up that fence line and go right inside there with them ladies. Pebbles, this is not for you, love. See, Carl is... Okay, well, guess what? This may not happen. I am not gonna force Carl to go in there with the ladies. I'm not gonna do it. I tried, and I'm not gonna do it. For anyone who is watching this video, who has spent this much time watching the video, I am sorry. There was no clickbait. It was just, I call it the oldest play in the book for a reason. Now, as you can see, Cornholio is trying his best move. Cornholio is the guy at the, at the dance who doesn't care. He's a guy that will go on the dance floor with the ladies. And Pablo is the kind of guy who will go to the dance floor. Look, we got two men here on the dance floor. These two guys have come to the dance floor couple of ladies on the dance floor yet the the this is like the royal ball though this is the ball and uh, the ladies here they they're looking for their prince charming their knight in shining armor and unfortunately carl who is a uh, our knight in shining armor wants nothing to do with our little ladies here ladies i got a snack I thought it might be enough to entice Carl, but unfortunately this the oldest the oldest play in the book doesn't work on everybody. Here. Look at that. Come on, Carl! Cornholio, I don't think the ladies want to mess with you. Sorry, Carl, you're not really their thing. Car uh, Cornholio. You gotta come with me, buddy. Come on, Cornholio. Uh, this is not going to work. What we're going to have to do is get, take Pebbles out of here. Hopefully Cornholio will follow me. Pablo's going to follow me. Annie, you got to follow me too. All right, guys, we tried. We did try. <laughs> we tried. I just need y'all to remember that we run... This is a real farm. It's not a petting zoo. And so our animals are not like circus trained monkeys. So you never know what you're going to get. We can always hope, you know, for certain results. And, but you never know if it's going to pay off or not. So I hope you were entertained by other stimuli. You've had a combo of neat cornholio moments. 
you've had quite a few Pablo moments. You had plenty of Ringo moments. You had uh, an Annie moment. Oh, hold on, here it goes. This might be it. There we have Carl along the fence line. All three ladies have come up in their pretty dresses. Oh, they smell nice. I have the gate wide open. They're making their way towards the gate. Look, they even have snacks to eat, like punch, juice, cookies. You know, the kind of things that you would see at a at a, at a, at a eighth grade dance. And, uh, oh, no, 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 wrong way, Carl, wrong way, wrong way, Carl, wrong way. So Carl made his way to the snack table. And at that point, he got a nice look at some of the ladies and decided to run off to where he felt a little bit safer. And uh, unfortunately, the place, <laughs> the place where Carl feels the safest is right here with all of these, these littles. <laughs> and that's an entertaining video in itself. The place where Carl feels the safest is right here in that pasture with all of these littles oh my goodness gracious <laughs> poor Carl I feel so bad for him Pablo look there he goes again <laughs> he wants to be with the littles he just wants to be with the littles Oh, Lord. All right. I'm not going to put him through any torture. I'm going to go close the gate over here. I will open up the Littles pasture and let him get back in there with his Littles. And I'll save this for another day. Come on, Carl. There you go. What? Hi, babies. I get it. I totally get it. Carl, at the eighth grade dance, will be more than happy to go on the dance floor, but he needs good friends to go with him. That's exactly what Carl wants. He would love to go to the dance floor. He just needs his good friends to go with him. All right, come on, Littles. Oh, this is going to be fun. That's This is going to be fun. Carl does want to dance, but he wants his friends to dance with him. Come on, you bunch of Littles. That's exactly what's happening here. Carl does want to dance. He just wants his little friends to come along. He needs the boost of confidence, that vote... That's exactly what's happening here. There we go. That's my professional gate prop. I got that off of Amazon. Wait! Carl! Oh no, Carl! Carl! Jamie, what? we need a little help here. We need to bring, we need feed and a lot of it. <laughs>